Hey folks, Trevor here, speeding the fumes of hatred, and right now I'm going to do a little collection update. Uh, not really big on doing those in general. Uh, I think this would be my second time ever doing it. I just don't really feel compelled to bust out the recorder every time I, you know, open up a new record or whatever. But, you know, some people are into that. That's cool. But uh, I already took care of the unboxing off camera because, uh... Who knows how much noise that ruckus is going to pick up on on the camera. Um, so yeah, I'd spare you spare you guys of that. Um, came from Hell's Head Bangers, always top notch quality service. I've been ordering from them regularly for uh, 15, 16 years. Nothing but great things to say about them. Um, but yeah, I got uh, four releases on this on this order and figure I'd share with you guys. Um, give you a little bit of content, I guess. Uh, so this band talked about a couple weeks ago. Am I getting the band together, Volume 2? And you'll see this emblem on the thumbnail. This is Dark Fury from Poland. Um, I don't know what took me so long, but I finally pulled the trigger on their compilation. This is And We Shall Never Surrender. And it comes with uh, their After the Battle EP, their Carnivore EP... Uh, the story will happen again. Split the Goat Moon split, or split with Goat Moon, I should say, uh, and their Thuringian Pagan Madman split. So yeah, this just expands my collection of theirs. That was already pretty large. Um, happy to finally own it again. I don't know what took me so long, but yeah, better late than never, right? And. Uh, Put that back in the little sleeve right here. And uh, another band I have a pretty big collection of, and they have so many releases that uh, I probably will never get to, but this is Vapod and Reisky from Finland. Uh, this uh, compilation is Anodetat Tastelot. Um, 19 tracks. I believe most of them are like demos and unreleased tracks, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, pretty sure, because everything's a finish, so I'm not going to remember which song is from where, but, uh, um, there's probably going to be, like, some splits on here or whatever, or material from splits. But, yeah, uh, this is Miko Aspa from Dustbell Omega and, uh, Clandestine Blaze fame. This is my favorite project he's been in, um, just, what an incredible, immense discography, and they got so many splits, and and uh eps and a few full lengths they're all magnificent um if you guys like you know deep masculine vocals and really catchy punky songs with heavy bass um this is your band right here check them out i'm not gonna talk too much about them because i do plan on doing a video about them this right here was a highlight of my order Hammer from Finland, Shokes. <clears throat> and I, I already put the uh, the vinyl in the in the jacket. It didn't come that way. I should say that um, when you are from Hells, you're always gonna get the the sleeve, the jacket outside or the LP outside the jacket. <laughs> I'm stuttering all over. It's fucking cold. I forgot my jacket inside and it just hailed. And I'm already tongue-tied as it is. Legitimately. I don't think I told you guys that. That's why I slur a bit because my tongue is tied. And I had surgery when I was a teenager and I didn't do the recovery process right. So, But yeah. Uh, yeah, blue variant. I think this is this is an out of the dungeon pressing. But I think it was released in... Uh, the album was originally released in twenty or 2008. This is a repress from 2020. But I was shocked when I saw this on the new arrivals. And I just had to jump on it. Because I don't think it would have sat there long. Um, as far as I know, this is pretty highly coveted. No matter what uh, pressing you find of it. And it's banned on Discogs. So, I mean, that's, that's out of the question. But 
One word to describe this is just riffs. Riffs, riffs, and more fucking riffs. I mean, this thing is so memorable. Like, after the first listen, you'll probably be humming some stuff from it. Surely the second listen. Um, I think... I'm pretty sure... Uh, I mean, they're not listed, but I think this comes with uh, four additional tracks from their first demo. Which is called National Socialist. Hey, now you know why they're banned. But, um... Yeah, I believe it comes with them. Maybe I'll... should be an insert here. But yeah, just... You can hear every, like, strum progression on here. It just has this icy, cold vibration. and Extremely charismatic, and vocals are intense as hell. The vocals kind of remind me of, like, Corvus from... From Horana, like in the mid 2000s. We'll uh, fold out here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if this includes the demos. I guess I'll find that out. But uh, I mean, either way, I'm fucking happy. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. Again, that was the, the highlight of my uh, my order right there. Was getting that hammer LP. Ugh. All right, and then I got one more for you guys. Let's see, get this back in the jacket or the sleeve. <clears throat> All right. Um, again, I, I put it. Put it away. Yeah, I put it in the jack already. This is a... Uh, I just fucking stutter over the name. Uh, Sisyphian. Sisyphian from Lithuania. Uh, their album, Illusions of Eternity. This is an album. I kind of I got it because it's, it's solid and it was really cheap. But it's honestly not something I'm going to listen to maybe more than once a year. If that. Um... I mean, it's a good, like, healthy mixture of Black black Death, uh, similar in the vein of the band Luctus, if you guys have heard of them, also from Lithuania, although I think Luctus is better. Uh, these guys kind of get um, a shat on, at least in the comments section of this record. People refer to them as, like, a Death Spell Omega ripoff, which I don't really... They have the... They kind of have the influence, I guess, as far as, like, that suffocating atmosphere... And, um, I guess sort of like that, that presence, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Death Spell Omega is kind of a lot more quirky, um, more experimental. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's like groundbreaking or anything. It's just really solid, like black metal with, um, some death metal influence. Um, I think the riffs are solid vocals. Um, got some really, um, excuse me, really good dissonant sections on here. And it was, it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 15 bucks. So I, I figured, you know, 15 bucks, it's a solid listen. Um, maybe, maybe it might grow on me even, you know, possibly more like, Maybe one day I'll be like, oh, wow, this is fucking great. But, yeah, for now, I'm like, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, I dig it. Um, but, yeah, I would I would say the other three releases I'm a lot more stoked to have. Especially that, once again, that Hammer LP, man. Fuck. So good. And I wanted to show you guys uh, something else. <sighs> Fuck, how am I going to get this? <laughs> I got a package from Amazon. Where'd my knife go? This won't be much to unbox, so I'm, I'm willing to unbox this for you guys. It's for my turntable. Well, I apologize for the noise if that was harsh. I 
I got in a an acrylic um, turntable slip mat. So I have one of those like generic foamy slip mats, and I know this one was playing uh, one of my records uh, last night. Kind of sounded a little staticky. Like what the fuck? And I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, it's. Because I uh, once I took the record off, my slip mat was stuck to it, and that's happened multiple times. And I'm like, is it the fucking slip mat? And I, I'm not an audio audiophile or whatever. Um, I'm not really like well versed in like what equipment to get and how to get the perfect sound. If I can hear the music, like that's really all I care about. As long as I can hear every arrangement in the composition itself that that's that's all i care about but when i hear like static and shit like that's not recorded within the music then i'm like okay that's a little irritating so i looked up acrylic platters and i guess these are like anti-static um they're supposed to enhance the sound but apparently i'll, I'll let you guys know because i'm putting it on the night but i just thought you know because I haven't really heard anyone in like in my circle talking about this type of stuff, so I figured maybe you guys want to want to know about that. If you have like one of those cheap, you know, flimsy, foamy, um, the slit mats, maybe get one of these. They're pretty thick too. I think it's like 300 gram, something like that. Um, let's see. No more scratchy white noise. Epic gift for audiophiles, which I'm not. Uh, tighter ba uh, bass response. And got got a lot of great reviews. I mean, it was like 4.8 stars on Amazon or something. So, yeah, uh, let you guys know how that goes. But if you want to prevent static, I guess that's the way to go. Um, I know a lot of people do rubber, but yeah, I want to do something. I guess a a little nicer you know um but it was like 20 bucks but yeah so that's my uh video for today guys hopefully you enjoy the collection update and i'll let you know the results of that uh that slip mat uh, as always thank you for watching and take care cheers